See ya. Hi! <laughs> hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I have Giselle here with me because we're gonna do another mommy video. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some baby travel essentials and tips. If you're trying to figure out what to pack for your baby, um, then this video is for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and can continue the laugh and continue to watch. <laughs> so last summer we went to Puerto Vallarta. My daughter was eight months old, so it was almost a year ago. Okay, so some background information on our trip, just so that you know. We flew American Airlines and we had a layover flight. So we flew from O'Hare in Chicago to Dallas, Texas, and then from Dallas, Texas to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. My daughter was eight months old. She was a lap infant, so that way we didn't have to pay um, we didn't have to pay for her ticket, we just had to pay taxes. Um, American Airlines actually let us take a stroller and a baby carrier or car seat for no additional cost. The way that you check in your stroller is not the same as your luggage. You don't check it in right away when you get to the airport. You actually take it with you all the way to the gate and once you get off the airplane, the stroller will be right outside the gate waiting for you. Uh, since we did take our stroller and the car seat with us, um, they did get a little bit of scratches and like scuff marks on it just so that you know maybe you want to buy like a protector or like a cover. I've seen those on Amazon, um, but I didn't think that was necessary so I didn't get one before going. Also, our flight was a morning flight and I feel like that was helpful with the baby because she wasn't fussy on the airplane at all. Also, the layover feel was helpful because um, it's kind of like having a little break in between. You can move your legs around, move the baby around. And um, it gave us a chance to like change her diaper and uh, feed her, breastfeed her. I was breastfeeding at that time, so I didn't carry on any uh, formula, um, formula. So I don't really know about that. I know that you're allowed to bring formula and water for your baby. I just don't know what the rules are for that. Um, because I was just breastfeeding. I did breastfeed her on the airplane, especially when um, descending, uh, just so that her ears wouldn't pop. If you don't breastfeed your child, then just give them the bottle or like a pacifier, so that way when, with the sucking motion, um, their ears won't pop. And also for adults, just chew gum and your ears won't pop. I'm like trying to carry her so that way that she's she, that way she's in the video with me and not like messing around with all my makeup in the back. But I'm getting hot here. <laughs> so another tip for flying is dress your baby in layers and in clothes that's easy to take on and off for diaper changes because my daughter did have a poopy explosion on the airplane and the bathroom is so small and the changing table for the baby is so small. The last bit of information I'm going to give you before I start talking about the baby products that you definitely need is that an infant needs a passport as well. So make sure that you get your baby the passport and you do need both parents' consent to get a baby's passport. So if both parents can't make it to whatever facility you're getting your passport at, then make sure that you have a notarized letter from the other parent saying that they give consent for the passport. Okay, so now let's get into these baby products. Oh yeah, also we went to Puerto Vallarta, so it was a tropical vacation. So I'm going to be talking about products for um, feeding and for um, outdoor slash, the, slash beach. So first I'm going to talk about feeding. Number one is a wipeable bib. And this one I found at the Dollar Tree. It has a little thing right here to hold the food. That way you only take one bib and you don't have to accumulate laundry. So along with that is this super awesome little Infantino portable attachable spoons. These are spoons that are attachable to those little baby food packets. I'm going to show you a little clip of me attaching it to a little baby food. Be sure to take the little squeezy packets because those are so easy for travel. They're mess free and then you can buy this little spoon and it's so easy to feed your baby with one hand. You can hold your baby, feed one hand, mess free, travel friendly. I come, this little pack comes with two. Uh, however, I lost one of them and then you just attach it to your diaper bag or wherever and I found this on Amazon. Definitely need this. Another feeding must have for me because I was breastfeeding is this little milk snob cover. That way you can breastfeed your baby. You put it around you like this 
put your baby in here. Nobody sees your boob, nobody sees the baby, but you can see your baby through here. So that was great to have in the airplane as well as the airport where there's a lot of people and I didn't want anybody to be looking at my boob while I'm breastfeeding, so that's a must have. Okay, another must have, I don't have it here physically. I'm gonna insert a picture of it. I found this on Amazon as well. It is currently at my mom's house because we use it as a high chair. So this is a portable high chair. You just attach it to any chair that has a high back to it. And there you go, a portable high chair. You roll it up when you're not done. It's so awesome, I love it. You can take it with you to restaurants, you can take it to you anywhere basically. And so this was a great thing to have on my trip. You definitely need that portable high chair. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk to you guys about some beach slash outdoor essentials. So of course there's the things that are obvious that you're going to need when you're at the beach. Swimsuit, swim diapers, a protective hat, sunscreen. But for the babies, no. you're definitely going to want the Swimways um, Spring Float with Canopy. This is what it looks like. When it's folded up, this is what it looks like. It fits in your beach bag, it fits in your suitcase, travel friendly. And um, this is the canopy, it's removable, so you can put it on if you need to or take it off if you don't want it. I also found that on Amazon and it's so awesome. My daughter loved it, she was not scared of it, she even fell asleep in it. It's honestly an essential to have at the pool or at the beach. Okay, so this is probably like my favorite um, beach tip that I'm going to give you guys and this is baby powder. So baby powder actually removes sand from your body like magic. You just powder it over your body or your baby's body or just put it in your hand and then rub it on your baby's skin and the sand will completely fall off. It's amazing. You don't need any water at all to rinse. You just sprinkle this and it slides right off. It's amazing. So make sure you have some um, baby powder with you always in your beach bag. Okay, I have two more outdoor things to talk to you about, and this is related to mosquitoes. Like I said, we were in a tropical place. We didn't want any mosquito bites on our baby, so make sure to have some bite bites or like any type of baby repellent. This is specifically for kids or babies. So it's for sensitive skin, so you just rub it onto your baby, so that way you don't have to use the spray repellent. And along with that is this mosquito net. You can put this over your stroller or over the car seat and um, it's um, elastic so it stretches and this keeps mosquitoes away from your babies so what I did for extra protection is just spray the um, mosquito repellent on this thing that way the repellent doesn't have direct contact on your baby's skin you just spray it on here for double the protection actually triple the protection spray repellent um, topical repellent, and then this net. So that's it for the um, beach and the outdoor essentials. Now I just wanna talk to you guys about some like first aid type type things that I think you should pack. I think you should pack Tylenol for your baby just in case their ears do pop during the airplane and that way you can relieve them from their pain. Also if they have a fever because there's germs in the airport and the airplane in other countries. Another thing that I brought for my baby is this nose Frida which is just a nasal aspirator. Um, you just uh, apply this over your baby's nostril and then suck on it and it takes out everything way better than that bulb syringe um, And I know it seems gross, but it's not gross at all. It's actually really effective So another thing I recommend is allergy medication because um, Like my son he gets a uh, really bad reactions to mosquito bites He swells up huge and is super itchy if you give some allergy medication then that will help you know relieve the swelling and the itchiness and also take some hydrocortisone to apply to any mosquito bites so that way your baby or your kids aren't itchy. Okay, so that's everything that I want to talk to you guys about. I hope I didn't forget anything or miss anything. If you have any questions whatsoever regarding flight or travel with a baby, please let me know. Leave me a comment. I will try to answer your questions to the best of my ability. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and also check out my other mommy videos. I'll have a link right here to a playlist of all my mommy videos. I hope to see you guys all next time. I love you. Bye.